Hello everybody, welcome to the YouTube channel Sai Edu Pharma. Today we will be discussing about vesicular drug delivery systems. This is the first part of this topic. As you all know that in vesicular drug delivery systems, we study about liposomes, niosomes, transposomes, heterosomes, phytosomes, pharmacosomes and many more. So we will be discussing them one by one. So first of all, so what are vesicular drug delivery systems? Actually, they are highly ordered assemblies which consist of one or more concentric bilayers and these bilayers are formed as a result of self-assembling of amphiphilic building blocks in presence of water. You all know that what are amphiphilic building blocks? We know surfactants which are amphiphilic compounds, example is phospholipids. They form vesicular structures or they form vesicles. And uh, the biological origin of lipid based vesicles was firstly reported by Bingham in 1965. So vesicles or vesicular drug delivery systems are also known as Bingham bodies. So now we will see what is the structure of these vesicles. You see here, you see here this structure, these are amphiphilic molecules and it has two ends. One is the circular one which is called as head which is a polar end or it is hydrophilic end and the tail is lipophilic or hydrophobic end and it constitutes of non-polar compounds or hydrocarbons. So, uh, this inner compartment that you are seeing it is aqueous compartment because it has polar ends and this is non-aqueous compartment. So in aqueous compartment we can incorporate hydrophilic drugs but in non-aqueous or lipophilic portion we will be incorporating hydrophobic drugs. So you can see here that this is single amphiphilic molecule which has hydrophilic end which is head and it has lipophilic hydrophobic end that is tail. Okay. So, in this vesicular structure we can incorporate both category of drugs that is hydrophilic drugs as well as lipophilic drugs. Now, what are the advantages of vesicular drug delivery systems? As we saw here that we can encapsulate both hydrophilic as well as hydrophobic or lipophilic drugs. Then the bioability can be increased. Then elimination of rapidly metabolizable drugs can be delayed because the drug will be incorporated in the vesicular system. So, it won't be metabolized. Then we can prolong the circulation time of drugs in the body. Then we can achieve the targeted delivery with the help of these vesicular systems. Then the drugs which are liable, which get degraded, they can be stabilized by use of vesicular systems. Similarly, we see that the toxicity issues of the drugs can also be resolved by the use of vesicular drug delivery systems. Now, this is summary of some of the vesicular drug delivery systems like liposomes, it is made up of phospholipid and cholesterol. The niosomes, these are modifications of liposomes in which non-ionic surfactant and cholesterol is present. In ethosome, along with phospholipid, ethanol and water is present. Then in transfersome, phospholipid has edge activator. Then pharmacosomes, they have just phospholipids. In phytosomes, as the name says phyto, so it has phospholipid and phytoconstituents. Then we will be seeing in short about all these systems. First is liposomes as the circular drug delivery system. It was firstly discovered and it is colloidal concentric bilayered vesicles where aqueous compartment is entirely enclosed by a bilayer membrane mainly composed of natural or synthetic lipids. So essential components are phospholipid and cholesterol. Where cholesterol it acts as a fluidity buffer in the liposomes. So there were various problems in the liposomes. There was problem of stability. So further after research they found that 
if we incorporate non ionic surfactants then the stability would be increased so mainly alkyl or dialkyl polyglycerol ether class was used and niosomes were prepared these are added to the cholesterol with subsequent hydration in aqueous media then there is addition of cholesterol which provides rigidity to the bilayer leading to the formation of less permeable niosomes and because we are adding non ionic surfactants so the size of the vesicles is increased and it also provides charge to the vesicles and hence increases the entrapment efficiency of niosomes so niosomes are better carrier systems than liposomes because of cost stability entrapment efficiency and bioavailability next comes transposomes so uh, as liposomes and niosomes have poor skin permeability so and also we have seen that uh, they aggregate and fuse in skin tissues so they are not very much suitable for transdermal delivery hence by further research new carriers were discovered which were known as transposomes and in 1991 grigor sevik he gave this term transposome and transposomes means carrying body and is derived from latin word transfer meaning to carry across and a greek word some which means body so transposomes when we see, uh, see the definition they are ultra deformable stress responsive complex vesicles possessing an aqueous core surrounded by complex bilayer of lipids these are the artificial vesicles which are composed of one natural amphiphilic lipid which is phosphatidylcholine or dipalmitoyl phosphatidylcholine and they are supplemented by a bilayer softener which is also called edge activator and it is a biocompatible surfactant example is sodium folate sodium dioxycholate span 80 twin 80 etc and we can see that the presence of amphiphilic surfactants allows transposomes to modify their membrane composition reversibly so as to penetrate through narrow skin pores next is ethosomes so ethosomes are non invasive delivery carriers that enable drugs to reach the deeper skin layers or to the systemic circulation and they are basically formed of ethanol phospholipid and water this the name etho came from ethanol and they are used for delivery of drugs which have low penetration through biological membrane that is skin so these are also very much used vesicular delivery systems next comes phytosomes phytosomes they are complex of phospholipids and natural active phytochemicals so they are prepared by the reaction between phosphatidylcholine or any hydrophilic polar head group and along with it plant extracts in an aprotic solvent they are also named as herbosomes they are the vesicular drug delivery systems which enhance the absorption and bioavailability of low soluble drugs so next term is pharmacosome these are amphiphilic phospholipid complexes of drug which bear active hydrogen that bind to phospholipids and these pharmacosomes they impart better biopharmaceutical properties to the drug resulting in improved bioavailability so these were some of the vesicular delivery systems in next video we will be discussing many more and one by one we will be discussing in detail about all so thank you so much stay connected with us do like share and subscribe the channel sai edu pharma and watch our subject wise playlist that we have uploaded in our channel and this template was taken by fppt.com so thanks to that also